and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a plan with me in my Erin Condren Life Planner uh, vertical for July 17th through the 23rd. So I have found this kit. It is a printable sticker kit from Paper and Gumption. I will leave her shop um, link down below. And I've really been enjoying using these printable kits because like I sat down this morning and was like, hmm, what do I want to play with? And I bought it and printed it and now it's ready to go. So we are going to do that and let's get started. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is put down bottom washi. This is kind of what sold me on this kit, I think. I had seen this fairy clip art around and wasn't super impressed with it, but I really like the little glittery stars. That might be weird. But, anyways, okay. Next, I know that I want to use this little pink haired fairy and I think I'm going to put her on Saturday because Saturday is usually the day that I have the least amount going on. So we are just going to put her right here at the bottom and there we go. Um, I'm going to put my, I can't decide if I want to use these check boxes or just the flags. So I think for this I'm going to use the boxes and just go with it. Last week I actually did my first no white space layout and I really liked it. So I'm going to see if I can't do that again this week. I don't think I'm going to use the date covers for this. I'm just not a huge fan of this font. So I'm going to skip those, but I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do my full box stickers down here along the bottom, I think is what I did last week and it turned out really good. So there's a bunch of options. And so I think I'm just going to use the first seven. Next, I'm going to fill in my headers I'm just going to use to do and then today. to note that with the paper and gumption printable kits this is the second from her that I have purchased that um, the cut lines are like perfect 
I'm not sure how she does it because I can't even get them this perfect creating stickers for myself so I'm not sure if it's completely because of her or something she's doing but I did want to note that that the cut lines are pretty much as close to perfect as you can be so that's awesome and very helpful when you're dealing with printable stickers because you hate to purchase something and then especially if you're not used to doing them all the time it might be kind of difficult and then to have it not turn out would be really frustrating so I really like hers for that reason Okay, so I'll keep looking back to last week so that I can see what I did. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pull all of these stickers that I made last week when I first did this. Let's see. Um, Now these are not in my shop, um, just because I kind of just made them for my own use. Um, they're pretty specific, so I uh, haven't listed them, but if anyone is interested in them, let me know because I can. That is not an issue. That's it. The um, YouTube stickers and the park stickers are, like the film, edit, all of that is in my shop, but the rest are not. Um, but I wanted to pull these because first I want to put down block stickers. And to match this, I'm probably going to use these. I know they're a little darker but that's about as close as what I've got that will match just because I don't do a lot of these pastel colors. I'm sorry if you hear my computer going crazy and whirring. Um, that's just what it likes to do. So for the rest that are not blog post days, I want to put down a half box. I usually uh, use these just to mark like what we're doing, um, whatever activity I'm doing with my kiddos for that day. And then below that, I'm going to put some stickers down to, I want to fill this all the way up, but I got to figure out where I want more half boxes and where I want quarter boxes. So let's do quarter half boxes on Tuesday and Thursday and Friday if I have enough. Yes I do. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um it helps to have room on your memory card when you're trying to film. So um I think it cut off for just a couple of minutes maybe. But I was just putting down some of these little quarter box sized checklist things on Monday and then Wednesday. And then probably put 
one here on Sunday. And next she has she has these little uh, sized ones here that I think I'm gonna put on Monday and Wednesday. I'm looking at this little calendar that I made for myself to have like a routine. So I kind of need, yeah, I just need these on Monday and Wednesday, I think. little space and I think last week what I did was I just overlapped a little bit with another quarter box but I don't think I need to do that um, I think what I'm going to do is oh that's a good idea I'm going to put my new plan right there and then Saturdays we can just move down okay perfect space as far as this side goes I still need to build my sidebar and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with these stickers I pulled okay so let's see first one is edit I'm going to edit on Monday and on Wednesday so to match I use this purple and I want to put that are going to the park possibly every single day but actually yeah I'm not even gonna put this down because I think we're gonna try to go like every day early um, designing is gonna happen on Friday which actually just this week in my shop I am going to start stocking things ahead of time and I'm going to be filling orders on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So let's see, we'll use the blue. I don't really like the blue. This pink is not as dark. So we're just gonna... I like to put it down here. And I need to make me some restock stickers uh, because that's what's going to be on those half boxes, but I don't have those right now. So I know that story time is on Thursdays. 
I'm gonna schedule Tailwind, which is for Pinterest, and Facebook. Tailwind is gonna be Monday. I hate to cover that all the way up. my stickers go. I did flag some things from my sticker binders that I want to put, like meal planning, which I'm going to probably put that on Friday. some of my little girls from Miss Moss. Can you see her? She's so adorable. Um, I'm going to use some of these. So, usually Friday is my day to clean before the weekend. So we'll just put her there. And I like to use this one. She's really cute. I like to put her on Saturday. And what else? Let's see. I need some restock stickers for these days. And that's it for that. Let's build our sidebar. So I'm going to do. again. That's kind of cute to put in between. Do you hydrate? And for up here, I don't think I'm going to do anything. This is a really cute grocery sticker. Um, so I really want to use that. Let's do
I really want to use these habits. Okay, we're going to put the habits right here. Over here, so that we don't. Let's just do two goes. Still not quite long. So let's put. I know that this one is going to be overlapped. That's kind of what I want. There we have it. That is a full sidebar. <laughs> okay. So I think that's it. Minus like all of the pen. Which I'm not going to write that in just yet. Because like I haven't done my meal plan. And I don't know what we're going to be having. I'm not sure what blog post I'm doing this week. I'm not really sure of any of that. So if you want to see the after with the pen. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that link down below and you can see how it all turns out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and leave me some comments down below and let me know what you guys would like to see. I love doing different planner tutorials and things like that. So if you ever have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments and I will try to get them done. Also check out my channel because I have some other uh, tutorials, especially dealing with these printable sticker kits if you're interested. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I did not kill all of you with my crooked sticker placing <laughs> and I will see you guys next week.